Hello and welcome to the fourth Wake Machine Learning tutorial. I'm getting so many emails after publishing my third tutorial that's how to use the classifier tab in order to develop a learn model in Wake Machine Learning tool. And the, those questions are about how to use your test sets um, and how you're going to apply your learn model on those test sets. So this tutorial I have made in order to help you to understand what is the difference between a training set and test set and how you can develop learning model and how you can save it and how you can apply the learning model on the test set. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do for this tutorial, this is the weather.r file. It's the default in your Weka installation package inside data directory and I'm going to make a copy of it and paste it. So the copied file, I'm going to use this for training purpose. So I rename that to weather-training.arf and I'm going to rename this to weather-test.arf. So let's open weather-training. Okay, so in this file you can see that there are some instances here. So as this is going to be our training set, this is by convention uh, that uh, your training set should have more instances than the test set. Or in other words, you can have some tests, testing, you can have more test instances than the training, training instances, number of training instances, but that has some other difficulties and ambiguities to develop a perfect uh, machine learning model. So what we are going to do here is we are going to increase some of our training instances and we are going to change that. For example, okay, let's give this to rainy, overcast, overcast, sunny, and rainy. And we are going to change the temperature to 90, 85, 85, 80, 71, and 60. We also need, we'll change the humidity here. I'm going to make it to 95, 85, 89, 85, 75, okay, and 92. And we're going to make it some windy or not by changing this value. False false to uh, let's make it false false and false and we're going to change the class values here as well let's make it yes 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 uh, no and uh, no and yes okay so what we have done so far is we just modified the weather.r file uh, we just divided that into two files, two different files. One is weather-test weather and weather-training. So we have made some more training instances because this is, a, this is a good practice. This is going to take you to the safe side that if you have more training instances than the test instances, then you have a higher probability of having some very good machine learning uh, classifiers. So this is our weather.training uh, weather dash training dot r file and now what we are going to do here is we are opening the wake explorer we are opening the file this time we are going to develop a classifier so we are going to use the weather dash training dot r and in order to classify that we are choosing naive base and we are going to use cross validation with ten folds. Okay, now you can see the precision recall and F score uh, for your learning model with the night base. So what we are going to do here, we are going to right click on this model. You can see the results list. Right click for options. We right click here, and we are going to save that. Uh, you can save it to any place. We are naming that to model one, and this has been saved as uh, model. Okay, now what we are going to do here is we are just uploading our test set that's the weather-test.arf 
we have open open file we go to the directory and we open weather dash test on parf and select close now you click on this model and you select reevaluate model on current test set so what it does is that it saved a model and it, it is now applying that model on your supply test set and you can see that your precision recall error score on the test set are shown in the classifier output so if you delete here delete this model you still have the option to load model and you, you know that you have saved it as model one dot model it's a model file you select that and again you can right click on that and select reevaluate re model on current test set so in order to do that you have to select the supply test set we are going to select weather dash test dot arf close file right click reevaluate model and you have the same classifier output here I think that will help you to understand what's the difference between training and test set and how you can use Weka in order to develop a classifier using your training set and use that classifier on the test set by either choosing choosing it from here directly from the results list or you can save it and load it um, so that you can use that model for numbers of times. Hope that helps. Thank you.